What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into episode number 12 of Once Upon a Time, titled Skin Deep. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there if you want them. I'm talking, I think we're on episode 5 or 6 currently on YouTube, and this is episode 12. So, you'll be... I mean, way more than 12, like than five, six episodes ahead over by this point. So just head over there, see how many I got. If you're interested, check it out. If you're not, that's cool. You wait here to the episodes show up. Uh, last episode was my least favorite episode of the series thus far. I feel that they butchered the genie. Um, was not a fan of that story. Again, if it is the genie from Aladdin, he, I don't know if it is, but it sounded like he was, and I'm not a fan of that. Um... Yeah, other than that, I can't even think of what the hell happened in the last. I mean, the guy that uh mystery man has Henry's book. Interesting, right? I mean, I wonder what that's about. Uh he, I'm I have no idea who he is. Like zero clue. Because how is he in there? How do you get there? Why is he there? A lot of questions. Uh but yeah. We're gonna hop in here, skin deep. I don't even know what that means. Skin deep. What can that possibly mean? I'm trying to think of how it relates to a fairy tale, but I don't know. Uh, we're gonna hop in here, have a good time. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions. I think I already said that, but pretty much here we go. Jesus, what's up with this mouse? What? Walls. Open it. Rumple. Our boy Rumple. Please be Rumple. Yeah, is that the dude from Psych? That guy? Well, that was a bit of a letdown. There you go. I love you so much, dude. I will go with him. Yeah. I forbid it. Oh. No one decides my fate but me. Can you mention her name, please? She'll go. It's forever, dearie. My family. Do you? <laughs> no. Hey, it is Belle. Belle. What the hell? You cannot do this. What a weird story for Belle. Belle, please. Wait, are they telling? Are they retelling the Beauty and the Beast story, and he's Beast? That is kind of. Hey, oh my God, Gold Episode Two. Terms of the loan were fairly specific. He started it. Oh man, this weird cheating yeah. angle is odd. Uh, I can push the tables together if you guys. Oh no, we're not no, no, together. Front door open. They called it in. It appears I've been robbed. Funny how that keeps happening to you. Yeah, well, I'm a difficult man to love. <laughs> My room? It's a dungeon. Not nicer than dungeon. <laughs> oh wow! This is what he's doing. What the hell? Oh, wow! All right. Hey, those randomized puppets. You will serve puppets. me my meals, and you will clean the dark castle. I, I understand. I'm so sorry, but... Uh, hey! It is a chipped... Oh, it's just a cow. Let's <laughs> <sighs> just say bad things tend to happen to bad people. Is that a threat? Observation. <laughs> is it going to be like the same kind of story where sh he falls for her? Be interesting. <laughs> Oh. I'll get it when I find it. Not if I find them first. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so she's following him. <laughs> he's, he's so weirded out by this. I hey. am Sir Gaston. And you, beast, have taken. That is so weird. If you'll have it. But kind of cool. He turned Gaston into a rose. I thank you. Y you trust me to come back? Oh, no. I expect I'll never see you again. Two Valentines. <laughs> Sounds like a complicated life. Oh, no, I, I just couldn't decide. Love. My man's buying duct tape. It's like a delicate flame. And once it's gone. And a rope. <laughs> Gone forever. Oh man, he is so the mother. Oh shit. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, 
you are like the godfather, dude. You're like the mob. <laughs> Walk. I'm confused. Why isn't Bell, like why isn't Bell in the real world? You see, here's the thing. I don't normally let people get away. He'd be a man again. No, no, she's screwing her over. The kiss is gonna do something else. True love's kiss will break any curse. Did he see her and he's like happy? Oh, he's happy. Already. <laughs> hmm. Oh, what's up? Any curse can be broken. Who told you that? Who knows that? Evil soul. This was you. You turned her against me. You think you can make me weak? You think you can defeat me? Who are you talking to? The Queen! Your friend, the Queen! How did she get to you? The Queen? I don't I knew this was a trick. Oh, man. I knew you could never care for me. Oh, yeah. You're working for her. Or is this all you? This is you being the hero. Oh, fuck. Killing the beast. Does he kill her? Shut up! This means it's true love. Shut the hell up! Why won't you believe me? Because no one, no one can ever, ever love me! Oh, shit. Let me breathe in a second. And you're gonna say two sentences. Emma's gonna show up. First, he's gonna tell me where it is. Let's begin. <sighs> Man, he is scary, dude. I like it. I needed that van. <laughs> What are you talking about? My fault. You shut her up. You had her love, and you shut her. Ass. What? What's happening? What happened to Bell? It's your fault. Or the girl that played Bell? It's your fault. Stop. It's gonna be the dog. Check uh, up on me. The doggy one, maybe. So. I want you finding somebody else. Like you? Catherine, I woof you. Oh, shit. Gave her the wrong so, one. Sorry. I meant... The names on them. I meant this one. thought that if two people were supposed to be together, they'd find a way. But David, if this is our way, I think we should find another one. Mary Margaret. I think you should go home to Catherine. Yes. Have the balls to break up with her. There is a way. He breaks up with the Catherine. It's not that complicated. Happy Valentine's David. Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. It's really not that hard, David. I mean, you don't want to be with your wife. You want to be with her. You break up with the wife. You're under arrest. For what? Oh, aggravated assault, kidnapping. Yeah, I'm thinking things are bad. <laughs> I was going to say, for what is happening? What happened to Belle? She seems like such a cool character. Damn it. My power means more to me uh. than you. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. You just don't think I can love you. Now you've made your choice. And you're going to regret it. Mr. Gold. Oh, she wants to know if Your he remembers. Real. Every moment I've spent on this earth, that's been my name. But what about moments spent elsewhere? Yeah, she's trying to know if he knows. Oh, man. This is... Rumpelstiltskin. He does remember. Oh my god! Such hostility. Oh yeah. It's the cup. Let's remember how things used to be, shall we? And don't let these bars fill you, dear. I'm the one with the power around here. I'm gonna be out of here in no time. 
and nothing between us will change. We shall see. She needs a home. <gasps> he was cruel to her. He locked her in a tower and sent in clerics to cleanse her soul with scourges and flame. After a while, she threw herself off the tower. She died. You're lying. Am I? Oh my god, Belle committed suicide. What the fuck? We're done. I thought she was gonna reveal that she had nothing to do. Like she, the girl fell for her or whatever. Damn it! Why'd they kill Belle? That sucks. Doesn't make any sense. And why was she coming here about a mermaid? That was weird. What's happening here? Wait, is Belle alive? Wait, oh my god, you lying sack of shit. Why are you keeping her man? Okay. Alright, um, that was a hell of a good episode, man. That episode was great. Um... Damn, uh, what do I give this episode? Mm. Kind of want to go with like a nine right now. I'm thinking if it's my favorite episode. That was really good, man. Um, I mean, the way that they handled the Beauty and the Beast story was not something I expected to like to see. <laughs> um, like I didn't. I guess. I guess that means that the beast isn't in in this story. Like the actual person. Like the actual person that plays the beast, because Rumpelstiltskin uh, essentially took over that uh, that story. Um, I'm gonna give the episode a nine. Um, let me see. Is it my favorite episode? Let's see. These two are great, and this one's great. Hmm, I don't know. It's up there, man. I'm giving the episode a nine. I thought it did a lot of things really well. Like the emotional stuff um, was crazy great. Also, the idea that Rumpelstiltskin was beating Belle's father or stuff from the other world was crazy. I don't know how I feel about the reveal of... um. Regina knowing because I don't remember if Regina when was the when was the last time Regina and Rumpel had like a interaction together was it did they have one here I don't think they did actually I'm gonna click here I know that this isn't like how I normally do breakdowns but I'm very curious I just want to go through this real quick did they have an interaction here in this episode like a like legit interaction I'm trying to remember I don't think so. oh what the hell's happening with the mouse um I don't know what's going on. My mouse is like way off, and I don't want to unplug it or mess with it. But I want to see something. I'm gonna click because it makes noise. Did they have an interaction in this episode? Would have led to her. No, they didn't. They didn't have any interaction in this episode. Really, that was weird. Oh my god, my mouse, please stop. I have to buy one that connects directly to the uh computer. This is a, a Bluetooth. I feel like the Bluetooth one. Um, alright, so they didn't have an interaction really. So I don't understand why Regina Like I know that she's been kind of giving hinting and it's been looking like he knows. But I don't know if there was anything that like drove her to it in this episode. And I can't remember. Um, 7.15 a.m. That's the, that was the Emma. 
DM of the Mary Margaret David episode. I don't know. Um, all right. So the episode starts off essentially with uh, a Beauty and the Beast story, right? We or not a Beauty and the Beast. There's a war happening. Somebody needs uh, help. Uh, they're waiting. They're like, he didn't come. He didn't come. Um, he was supposed to come. All this stuff, right? Then they open the door. I mean, somebody knocks on the door. Nobody's there. And when we get inside, when we go back inside, we see it's Rumpelstiltskin. He is here. He is ready to make a deal. Uh, and the deal is, I'll save your kingdom if you give me your daughter. There wasn't an actual reasoning for him wanting the daughter, right? The, I mean, the, the reason he said he gave was for, for like housekeeping. But was that the reason? I mean, but was he attracted to her and that's why he wanted her? I don't I don't exactly know. Um, all right. So flashback to the real world. We see this guy who needs um who owes Rumpelstiltskin some money. He can't pay him, so Rumpel's taking collateral or not collateral, he's taking what the, what like the, the value of what the guy owes him, his truck. Um, so yeah, Rumpel takes the car or the truck. Regina wants to talk with him for something, and um, Rumpel or uh, Mr. Gold is not having it, he does not want anything. He's like, Ah, when I have something, you when I want something from you, I'll take it. Um, we then get Mary Margaret and David doing the weirdness, uh, just being awkward. So, I did actually like this interaction here. My problem is, I like this interaction here with them. Because they weren't like they were like they were seeing each other. They're, they're like they're seeing each other at a distance and stuff. I'm all for that. If you don't have the guts to do it and you're just you just but you're not acting on anything, I'm all for that in a TV show. I still think it's messed up in real life to like think that way, but I actually like that. My problem with their whole thing is when they were full fledged making out, like they were sneaking around to make out and stuff, essentially too cheap. They didn't really harp on that in this episode, which I was cool with. But that's what they were harped on in that 715 episode, which I didn't like. And then the ending with the kissing, I was like, eh, whatever. I don't like cheating, so seeing that made me, like, irritated me. Um, especially with the two characters we're supposed to like. You know what I mean? So, here it was just kind of like we were at separate tables and we were just kind of like watching each other and being all sneaky. But it wasn't like we were trying to kiss or date or do anything wrong. It was... I mean, it was it's still wrong, but like it was just a different kind of wrong. Like, I don't know. It depends on how you really look at it. Also, I don't know. I, it's I'm, I'll go down that rabbit hole. I shouldn't go down that rabbit hole because it's gonna bring up like different uh, perspectives on what you think cheating is and what's cheating is what they're doing cheating in terms of flirting with somebody else emotionally being like you know what I mean all that stuff. And I don't want to kind of do that. That's not what this episode was about. So just understand, my mind is going through all that with this. But I did not hate their little thing here. At the beginning, I did because I thought I remember what happened with the whole kiss thing. But if it was just this and not that other episode, it'd be cool. All right. Uh, Cinderella shows up. Or her name is Ashley, right? Um, she's got the baby. She doesn't really see her man because her man's always busy working. So she's sad. She wants to have a girl. Or Red Riding Hood wants to have a girl's night out. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we then head over to Mr. Goat's house. Somebody broke in. Somebody stole some shit. He, he, he has a gun. Ooh, he's now he's like truly dangerous. Um, I mean, he's always been dangerous, but like now he's like, oh no, buddy. I can. Like, how is it that I am moving my mouse? All right. I'm going to have to move my PC over because look, now over here, it's working. Um, so yeah, Emma shows up, the cops, somebody broke in, stole a bunch of his stuff. He essentially, I, I like the whole, I was like, I'll find him. And he was like, not if I, and then he stopped himself. So that was cool. Cause you know, he's essentially, um, gonna essentially say if I find him first, I'm going to kill him. Uh, then we hop back here. Uh, Belle is, you know, serving tea. Essentially she's a servant to Mr. Uh, to Rumpelstiltskin. She chips one of the cups. Nice little callback, little touch to the, um, you know, the chip and the the, you know, the utensils that come to life in Beauty and the Beast. Very interesting, though, right? Like, if you think about it, because Beauty and the Beast is probably the most iconic. It's one of the most iconic Disney stories. And they chose to change it 
in a very drastic way. Very cool. A very big risk. We then hop back to the real world, still talking with Emma. We hop back here. We see she's trying to do this up with the curtain. It's been a little bit, so, you know, they're kind of getting along. They're seeing the good in one another, or she's seeing the good in him. And it's kind of like very sweet, very cute, very adorable. We then hop back to the real world, and bam, he got all of his stuff back, but he's missing something. And he is not happy that he is missing something. He is actually very, very effing mad. And now he says, if I find it, I, I, she's like, I'll find it when I'll get whatever it is when I find him. And she, he does the, not if I find him first. Uh, then we have back here again, uh, you know, talking, actually getting to know one another. She wants to get to know him. Um, he's like conflicted right now. He's like, am I having feelings with her? What's going on? Uh, then we have Gaston show up. Very interesting take on it like that. That was Gaston. Uh, Gaston shows up and Rumpelstiltskin turns him into a rose. Another interesting take on this, uh, this uh, Beauty and the Beast story. Um, the rose happens. She cuts the rose, so essentially cutting off Gaston's legs. <laughs> Very dark. She wants to know him. Um, this is when he says that she can leave, right? And go get some straw or something. And she's like, he's, she's like, you're, you're letting me go? And he's like, um, yes. Uh, or he says, uh, how do you know I'll come back? And he's like, I know you won't. I'm expecting never to see you again. Very, very crazy stuff. Um, I, I don't know. A lot of what I liked in this episode was just the dialogue. All the little dialogue. Like, I don't really care about the whole Ashley's. I guess I didn't care about the Ashley storyline, really. The Cinderella story. I don't know, Ashley, because Cinderella is her thing. I didn't really care about that that much. Um, all right, David's conflicted. He's very, he's getting two, uh, two Valentine's Day cards. Very different, though, right? One's, I woof you, and then the other's like a more romantic gesture of a card. Um, Ripple still says some things. Um, let me hop over to Rumpel, and he has my man, or wait, he already, did we already see him when he had him in the car? I think at one point we already saw him with the truck. Now we are at the location. Or is it here? We're at the location. We're in the cabin in the woods. Um, we hop back over here. Belle's walking to the market. Uh, evil Queen shows up, decides to, you know, be all evilly, and uh, kind of put into her head about... A true love's kiss can break any curse, all that stuff. Um, you know, making her believe. Oh, he also mentions uh, if if he loves you, he would have let you go. And then she's like, oh, my God, he did let me go. Oh, my God, he loves me. So he goes, she goes back. Um, I like that he's like at the window, like <gasps> like, a, like a puppy or something. Like, oh, my God, she's back. And she, he runs downstairs and pretends like he's not do He's busy. And we have this one on one. She kisses him. He starts to turn. She tells him, Oh my God, it's working. And he's like, What? Then she mentions the uh, true love's kiss breaks any curse. He's randomly yelling at the mirror, yelling at her. She's confused as all hell as to what is happening. This acting here is amazing by Rumpelstiltskin. He's yelling. He seems very dangerous. I like, I, at any point, I'm like, Is he going to snap her neck? What is happening? He is losing his mind. Then we get back over here. We get. Him saying that he's not asking for the item anymore. He's kind of blaming him for something. It was your fault. It was your fault. But the guy doesn't know what he's talking about, right? And he starts to beat him and beat him and like hitting him with the cane. And it's like legitimately scary. And then I like this camera angle. I'm sure I can get it. Get the camera angle. I'm going to get that camera angle. Camera angle. I got the 19 right here. This camera angle is so good, right? You see the gun and then you see the shadow and then like just him beating the shit out of the guy. Let me run back here. Breaking of stuff. He um, doesn't break the chipped cup. Then we got back here. Ashley says, what's the point of um, being together if you can't see each other? Kind of making um, Mary Margaret be like, yeah, that's so true. I don't think it's the same in any capacity because, you know, she's the other woman. But she takes it that way. I mean... She does turn it into something that could fit in towards fit towards her relationship. The the like why 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 be in love when you can't see somebody or something. Um, we have over here. He gives her the wrong card, which I'm gonna be honest, he should have known. Like it's it's 
it's it makes David seem like a moron. He has two cards. One is yellow, one is red. So David, one means love, one just means friendship. You should know this, David. You're you should be smarter. <laughs> like, how do you have hand her the wrong card? Uh, Mary Braga finally says, you know what? Go back to your go see your wife. Very essential, like just just go be with your wife. We then have these two interacting. Um she's like, This isn't about Emma says this isn't about something stolen, it's about something else. You were saying he hurt her. Uh, we have this, we have this whole you can leave situation. She says the reason you're telling me that you don't want me here is because he says he loves his he has he loves his power more than he loves her. She's like, No, you're just a coward, you're afraid that somebody can actually love you. It's very, very good stuff. I wonder. Cause she's way younger than he is. Like, if we're being honest, she's way, way younger than Rumpelstiltskin. Like the actors, like my man's in his like fifties. She looks like she's like 24, 25 years old, if that. Like a 25 year gap, 30 year gap in age. Like, cause look at look at the way he looks here. He looks so old. Um. All right, so he's in jail. He got arrested for assault. Regina brings Henry over and says, you can have Henry for 30 minutes if you let me speak with a homeboy here, which is very weird. I mean, it's smart by Regina, but it's also very weird for Emma to be like, you know what? I am a cop. I'm going to leave Regina with him, which is all very fucked up and illegal, right? But, you know, she wants to be with Henry, so I understand that aspect of it. Um, and I love this scene. This scene was phenomenal. Very phenomenal. Like... Are asking what's your name? And he's like, I'm Mr. Gold. I've been in this world. I've been Mr. Gold. And she's like, What if in another world? And he's like, Rumpelstiltskin. Oh man, that reveal was so cool. Like that he knew because I kept saying, like, Does he know? It comes across like he knows, right? He knew the entire time. They've been here for years, right? Years. Because Henry's fucking old. Or my bad, Emma's effing old, right? Think about that, right? Emma is, let's say Emma's like 30, right? Let's say Emma's 30. We had Henry when she was 18. No, because Henry's like 14. So she could have had him at 17. Henry's probably 13. Yeah, so Emma's like 30, 31, right? So they've been in this world for 31 years. 31 years. 31 years, dude, and he's known the entire time. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, essentially, um, she, she, he wanted the thing back, the chip, um, the chipped cup, all the stuff. At this point, we don't know what happened. I'm like, where is Belle? I just kept finding it weird. I'm like, why isn't Belle in the story? That's so odd. Like, in the real world story. Like, he's in, he's, why isn't she in the real world? And then I'm like, she, did she die? Then Regina comes over, talks back. I wish Regina would have um, alluded to... Oh, I didn't tell her like to say anything. She actually loved you. Like, I wish she would have alluded to that. Because he didn't... I don't know if... I mean, I'm sure he realized it once she yelled at him and walked away. But I kind of wanted Regina to rub it into his rub it in his face. Instead, she tells a story that her the town shunned her. Her dad shunned her. She didn't know what to do. He kept her in a tower, and she jumped off the tower and killed herself. When she went to the tower, I was like, wait, are they combining the Rapunzel story? What's going on? Uh, But nope. She killed herself, fucked up thing. He's upset, tells her to leave. He says, get another woman. He's all sad. Great, again, great dialogue, great acting. Um, And then we hop, he has the chip. He uh, changes his little, what do they call these things? The, um, oh, what do they call the thing? Uh, I'm trying to blink on what these the little the cups are called. Um. Essentially, we jump. He puts a little tea, uh, teacup there. We jump to the, this world. Turns out Regina has an underground psych ward. I don't understand they're giving the rose to this lady because we don't. Know, I don't know who this lady is and why would she? Why would a rose be the thing that lets her get by to go see the girl? Very weird. Um, and then we get to the big reveal. She's not dead. She has kept her captive all this time. Kind of crazy, right? Because, again, in this world, time stands still and nobody ages, right? So everybody looks the way that they looked in the fantasy world. But nobody nobody ages but has 
Bell been in this jail cell or this weird psych ward place for 31 effing years? Has she been in there for 31 years? Yeah, they don't age or whatever, but 31 years in this fucking room. That is insane. And yeah, that's a big reveal. Sorry. Like I said, I really love this episode. I thought it was really good. I don't think it's it's probably it's up there with my favorite, but I just really didn't care about the Ashley storyline at all. Like honestly, and that was only, you know, in total it was probably that storyline was about what, a couple minutes, maybe like five, seven, eight minutes of the total episode, maybe. Like we do it a couple times, but not that much. But I just didn't really care about it. So whenever we would jump to that, I'm like, eh. The other main story I thought was great in both fantasy and real world. Um, yeah, but so I'm gonna give it like a really strong nine. And yeah, I'm gonna give it a strong nine. It's up there for me. I think that I enjoy the Lonely Heart one and Desperate Souls episode better. Um, that's the um the so the sheriff one where he dies, and then the backstory to Rumpelstiltskin one. I think I enjoyed those a little bit better. So this is probably my third favorite episode. Um. And I think all three of them are nines. Maybe Lonely Heart is a 10. I think I might have given that a 10. I don't know. I just really like that story. I think that's probably my favorite episode. Desperate Souls in this one are probably neck and neck. Um, yeah, probably. But yeah, so as you guys can tell, like, I mean, any story with Rumpelstiltskin or Mr. Goat, I'm just going to love. Like, he is, it's not even close to me who he's my favorite character. It's like, it's him. And then it's so many people that are like, it's so far down to get to the next person. Like he is the best in this show. He speaks. I'm intrigued. He is in the episode. I am fully invested. I love the guy. So that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did like comment and subscribe to the channel, head over to Patreon full uncut unedited reactions over there. If you want them, if you don't want them, that's perfectly fine. you get episodes here whenever they show up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk to you guys later.